So having acquired our spectral data and our images, it's now time to export all that information so that we can uh, investigate away from the processing computer all of our data. So most users will want a blank image showing the actual texture of their rock without the annotations, but also another image showing where spectra were actually taken, so that then you can link up the spectrum number to the actual location on your sample of where that spectrum chemistry relates to. So what we want to make sure is that we export our data at the best resolution possible. So the first thing to do, we're in point and ID, uh, we've got our described specimen set up with beam coloration coated, and 15 nanometers of carbon approximately, and then we're in scan image. So you can see here we have our backscatter image with spectral locations. To find out what resolution the image is at, we can right click, go to details, and we can see that it's 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. I right click again on the image, I go to export, and then to settings. And you can see that I've got 1024 by 789, let's say 786, which is what the actual resolution, and I'm going to turn off keep aspect ratio. I'm keeping everything else turned off apart from show the scale bar. And I'm going to save as, navigate to my folder, and call it test, save. I can then do that for every single site that I've created in my data tree. So if I right click on the sample, and go to batch export. I can select images. I want a TIFF. I want to use the image export settings because because I know I've input the best pixel resolution that I possibly can get out of here. It's not going to compress my data. And then I can select all of the sites within this sample. I'm going to save them to my folder. It's warning that there's other TIFF files in there that maybe you've written. I'm not worried because it will give the name of the actual electron image as it exports. And then we can say start. Again, it's warning me about writing over existing data, but I'm not worried about that's fine. And you can see it starts to cycle through and export all of these images. Five images were exported, thank you very much. And if we go to Windows Explorer, we can see that we now have various images, each of which has the spectrum location on. 